Okay, so the very first thing when you're making your skis that you have to do is mix up your resin. My resin requires me using two cups and I mix it in one, pour into the other, and then mix it for another minute or two. And then what I have on my ski press is on the bottom side, uh, we needed more support. So that's my brother over there. He's just getting MDF boards and we're going to put it underneath. Make sure you wear bad clothing for the layup as well. We have everything prepared within arm's reach. So underneath your base, you should have a sheet of polyethylene plastic. I cut one that's like six inches wide. And I'm going to sandwich my whole layup in between that in the press so it doesn't get stuck. Then I'm going to pour resin on top of my base and make sure it gets into all the teeth of my edges. Because this is really important, is the epoxy is really the only thing holding your edges in place. Because the super glue that you used to attach them in the first place was not very strong. Once you have done this, you will move on to applying some fiberglass. And that should be coming up shortly. Once you have applied the fiberglass, you're going to want to pour a little extra resin on top of that. And make sure that you don't have any white spots or wrinkles in the fiberglass. The smoother it is, the lighter it will be, and it won't cause any later problems with adhesion. Uh, we are wearing gloves, as you can see, just so we don't get covered in fiberglass. And we're using scrap pieces of PTEX as spreaders. After you have fully gone out all the wrinkles from your fiberglass and it's all the same color as your ski, then you're going to want to take your core. Make sure it's even on both sides. Is mine, it, mine was cut to be about 3 eighths of an inch longer on each edge. And then what you're going to want to do is cover your whole core with, uh, with epoxy. And make sure it all like brings out the nice color of the wood. It's none of the dry color of the wood if you're using a wood core. The next step of the process is just to add another sheet of fiberglass on top of the wood core. And the same goes as before, make sure you can't really see the white color on the spots that are on the core, make sure you see the wood color. And from there, 
is quite simple. All you really do is position your aluminum plate. I have some lines on my core where it's supposed to go, where I want it. I have it an inch back from center so that there's about three extra inches in each direction so that I can mount center mount or all mount or all mountain. About here, my camera actually ends up dying in a little bit. So what I ended up doing was just putting the aluminum plate, putting another piece of fiberglass over that. And now I'm spreading fiberglass on the tip and tail about eight inches. This is just to give my tip and tail a little more meat so they don't break because my core got really thin over there. So uh, once you have all your fiberglass laid out, what you're going to end up doing is make sure you put the top sheet down, make sure that your taped side is up, that way the bottom side does adhere to the rest of the ski layout, and same with the base, make sure the tape side is down so the non-taped side, non side sticks to the layout. And then after that, you're going to want to put another sheet of polyethylene plastic and put it in your core. I'll leave a picture here so you guys see what the layup looks like with all the clamps. As you can see, this is the ski press with my homemade clamps around the side. If you want to see how those are made, I could release a video on that. The most important thing when doing your layup though, is make sure you do your layup flat. So you lay everything up while it's flat, meaning that you apply glue flat and then when everything is a sandwich, you smash it into the press together. Because if you do it the other way, it's going to be really difficult to do it in the press. Thanks for watching.